So as we come here today to celebrate the legacy of Emily and the suffragettes, we also hopefully will take with us inspiration for all of the work that still needs to be done around the world so that we may bring equality and justice to all. We shouldn't be surprised at the level of interest there is in Emily Wiley Davidson. Her actions at the time caused horror and consternation amongst the so-called establishment. But the ordinary people recognised the justice of the suffragette cause and turned out in their thousands when her body was returned to Morpeth. Hundreds of people lined the streets of Morpeth in June 1913 to say farewell. The culmination of our commemoration of Emily's death will be the recreation of that journey on the afternoon of Saturday, 15th of June, exactly 100 years to the day of her burial. And we will go from Morpeth Railway Station to this church. We are re recreating the journey, not the event, so it will be somewhat different to 100 years ago. But we hope there will be as many people lining the streets as there were a hundred years ago. Emily was a joyful woman, so let's take one minute of silence to think of the joy that she brought and what she meant and of the women that have inspired you and me. Very honoured when I was asked um, to speak today by Pen Penny Blythe Jones here because I've been coming since it first started in 2002, when I was only eight years old. <laughs> Both my granddad and I have attended every year since, for the 11 years since it began, and I've very much enjoyed coming together with many different people from lots of different corners of the world to celebrate International Women's Day. Many of the people here today have seen me grow up from being a really little girl and I think that it's fantastic that children like I was can have the opportunity to come to celebrations like this to learn about courageous women like Emily. That people like Emily may then go on to inspire people like that so it's really important that they can learn about women in this way. I've learned so much myself over the past few years by attending these celebrations and I believe that we should continue to spread awareness of people like Emily um, by continuing to hold events such as these. As this year is the centenary, there are lots of events happening to commemorate Emily and to spread awareness of her story. Some of us are travelling to Epsom Racecourse to unveil a plaque in commemoration of her death and where she was killed by the horse Amna. Please try to get involved with as many of these events as possible as it is a very exciting time. Both my granddad and I would like to thank, well, to take this opportunity to thank everyone who's organised this event and people who've come every year because it's really important that it keeps going, spreading awareness of courageous women like Emily on International Women's Day. They've made this a truly special event every year and we hope that it continues for a very long time. I believe that the slogan, Deeds Not Words, should not only inspire us all here today, yet continue to inspire both women and men for the rest of the future. Thank you very much.